Hello, thank you for joining the Sage 300 training video. Today's session will focus on general ledger accounts. We will review the fields on the account screen and how they are used to set up and maintain GL accounts. For this training session, we are going to be working in Sample Company Limited, although there will be times when we cut over to Sample Company Inc in order to look at a couple of specific scenarios. First, open the General Ledger module, GL Accounts, and go to the Account screen. The first field is the account number. Account numbers can comprise up to 10 segments and have a maximum length of 45 characters. Segments other than the primary account or natural segment are defined as part of the system setup process. We can delimit the segments with various characters, with a dash being the most commonly used. Account numbers can be of varying lengths within a chart of accounts. For example, in the sample company, we have accounts with one, two, and three segments being used in different cases. A structure code, which is maintained within the module setup, defines the selection and order of segments used. A company's chart of accounts can contain multiple different structure codes. The second field is the account description field, which can be up to 60 characters long. The next field we see is the aforementioned structure code. This defines the format of the account number. Pressing the tab key moves the cursor to the next field. The natural balance informs SAGE if the account should normally have a debit or a credit balance. The account type field can have three values, balance sheet, income statement, or retained earnings. The selection here is crucial because income statement accounts will be closed out and their balance transferred to retained earnings during year end. Use the finder to help you select the account group. Account groups help classify account balances and support reports like income statements and balance sheets. During the account group setup process, the group category is established and presented here for reference. Determine the account status by selecting either active or inactive. Inactive accounts will prohibit users from posting against it. Accounts must be inactive in order to delete them. Choose between posting to the account in detail or consolidated form. The detailed format retains all the details of the debits and credits and are listed individually in the transaction listing reports. When you select the consolidated option, transaction details are consolidated when posting. In consolidation, the debit and credit details for the same account, fiscal period, and source code are combined into a single amount. The consolidation detail is assigned the last date of the fiscal period to which details were posted. When transactions are posted in detail, they can be consolidated at a later time using the Consolidate Posted Transactions function in the GL Periodic Processing icon. Prohibited accounts are blocked from having transactions posted against them. Now let's look at the Control Account function. When the Control Account option is selected, a new tab appears. The grid on the subledger tab contains the two character code for each module which is permitted to use this GL account. In this example, only transactions sourced in the accounts payable, the accounts receivable, and bank modules can be used. Since general ledger is not specifically listed here in this case, no manual journal entries can have this account on them. If your company is a multi-currency company, then the multi-currency box is displayed. Enabling this option takes you to a new tab.
Check this box to indicate that the account balance will be maintained in a different currency other than the functional currency. In the currency tab, indicate which currencies are permitted to this specific account. You can effectively turn off multi-currency for any account by restricting the posting currencies to just your functional currency. By turning on the maintain quantities, you permit tracking of quantities on the general ledger account in addition to debits and credits. This can then be used in the generation of financial statements. The unit of measure for the GL account is defined in this field. The rollup function associates other accounts into this account for reporting purposes. Upon selection, a new tab appears. On the left is a tree showing all the rollup details. On the right is a grid where you can see the accounts which are associated with this one and their descriptions. Also visible is if the associated account has other accounts rolled up into it. Now let's transition to Sample Company Limited for an example of auto allocation. When the auto allocation function is chosen, transaction amounts posted to this account will be dispersed to other general ledger accounts. Checking this box will cause a new tab to appear. Here you can enter the accounts to receive the disbursement and the percentages to each account. Please note, the total of accounts selected must total 100%. There are options here to select the source code to use on the allocation entry and the method to use when making the allocations, either account balance or quantity. Switching back to Sample Company Limited, there are two types of optional fields for general ledger accounts. Like all other optional fields, sometimes called user or client-defined fields, they are set up first in common services and then in the setup function of the module. Of course, what we are seeing here is just an example provided in the sample company and will probably not appear in your company's setup. First is on the optional fields tab. First is on the optional fields tab. Here we are defining the optional fields associated with the account itself. These optional fields can be any attribute of the account itself that cannot be defined in the standard fields of the screen. The Transaction Optional Fields tab controls which optional fields can be used on this particular general ledger account during transaction posting. If the account is an income statement account, the Close To section will appear. By default, accounts will close to the re default retained earnings account defined in the general ledger options. However, if a segment in the options was defined to use in closing and accounts were defined in the segment code setup, then that option will appear here for, for possible selection. Now that we have covered the various fields in the account screen, let's put this all together and create a new account. One option is to start from scratch and enter the values field by field. However, it is possible to use one account as a template for the account you wish to set up. For this example, I would like to create a notes payable account. I will use the bank operating loan account as my template. First, I must enter the account I would like to start with, either by hand or by using the finder and selecting the account. Next, I will change my account number to my new account number. As I tab out of the field, notice that the button in the lower left changes from Save to Add. Sage is recognizing this now as a new account and is ready to create it. Before I do, I will change my description to my new one. I will review my optional fields and see if there are any changes needed here or in any of the other fields on the main tab. If your template has other functions enabled on it, review these now and change appropriately. However, I can see that Sage persisted the values 
from the template account and I am satisfied with these so I can click the Add button and create my account. Maintaining an account is as simple as changing the field on the screen and then selecting Save. Please note, not all fields can be edited once created. An example of this is the structure code. If you have many accounts which need to be updated, you can use the Export and Import function. From the File menu, you can export your chart of accounts, make the necessary changes in either an Excel or CSV file, and then use the Import function to update the accounts. With this process, you can update existing accounts or create new ones. What you cannot do is delete accounts from the system. This concludes this Sage 300 tutorial on general ledger accounts. Thank you for watching and have a great day.